I'm Kanjan Sharma, graduated from Banasthali University. Today I'm with PV Jain sir, who has guiding students last from 20 years. Today we are going to discuss all the queries regarding computer exam for engineers. Sir, my first question is, engineer students who, have, who do not have job opportunities and don't have campus placements, uh, is GATE is better option for them? See, uh, like uh, nowadays engineering is having number of various different kind of options available. Uh, they can appear in different exams, they can join after their graduation for the higher education, they can go for uh, private jobs, a number of options available and one of the option is that is a uh, gate exam, right? Uh, what happens is if you are having different number of choices available and whatsoever your motive, first you have to decide that what is your motive, where do you want to go? Say you have decided to go for a PSU or if you want to join for a uh, join a good institute for a higher education, then I think GATE is the most obvious choice. And as number of PSUs associated with uh, uh, GATE exam and say if you want to join for research, if you want to join for MTEC or say MS from outside India, then GATE is the obvious choice for engineers nowadays. Yes sir. Sir, so some students have a job and they are in dilemma whether to go for gate or uh, job uh, join their jobs. See, it depends upon uh, your choice. Like, mm -hmm. what kind of job you wanted? Say, uh, what kind of job you got, right? And uh, where you are heading for? Mm -hmm. Where are you looking yourself after five years, right? So the most important thing you should decide your target. Right. If you want to join for a PSU, say then in that case you should prepare for GATE. Right. Say if you want to join for a, a central government service like IES, then you go for you should go for IES exam that is conducted by UPSC. Right. But you want to go for higher education, then again the choice is GATE. Even GATE is one of the exam which helps you in the private inter private sector interviews also. Say you are having a valid scorecard in hand yeah. and you are appearing in any of the interview and once they will come to know that you have scored very well in the GATE exam, they come to that, that know that your uh, technical knowledge is very sound. Okay. Right. That's why GATE is very very important exam. I think students got their answers whether to go for job or GATE and GATE carries, a uh, GATE GATE is having wide opportunity, so they should go for uh, GATE. Yeah, definitely. GATE is having very wide opportunity related to higher education, mm -hmm. related to private jobs, related to PSUs, related to research field, right? Uh, if you want to study abroad, number of universities abroad, they are uh, taking their admission through GATE, right? Another important thing is, say, if you are studying uh, in any of the university, uh, in India also, you are getting a good uh, amount of scholarship. Mm -hmm. Either you are in research field or you are doing MTech. Yeah. So, uh, the financial burden is also not there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That means who have their good financial conditions and good GATE score, they can apply for ab abroad universities also yeah, through GATE score. Yeah. Very good opportunities, students. Uh, so, my next question is, uh, GATE exam is like other competitive exam like SSC or civil services, IES, that much tough it is. Uh, I mean, the every student like me uh, can compete with other students. See, uh, how tough is the exam, uh, in which scale we are uh, calculating that exam is tough or not tough, that depends, right? Uh, that depends on uh, the scale, which uh, thing you think, uh, what is score? or the what all in the rank you found that that is or you have decided that is a success mm -hmm. right like qualifying gate is very easy mm -hmm. in most of the branches you are scoring say 33 34 marks you are qualifying the gate exam if that is the success that is very easy mm -hmm. right but say you are preparing for isc bangalore mm -hmm. you want to get admission isc bangalore then you should be in top 50 ranks of the all india rank then you have to prepare very well for the gate exam right Tough exam according to number of selections uh, in India is the one of the toughest exam for the Indians is IES because the number of candidates got selected for a particular exam in IES are very limited 
right mm. but gate say you want to go to go into psus or you want to join for the good iit of your choice then you have to prepare well for that that is not very easy exam but not very tough also okay, right sir. you can prepare if you are preparing well you can get through into gate it is not as tough as ies so students don't want to be in tension gate is easy as comparatively to the other, other exams. exams yeah so for the for an average students how much r should uh, student should give in starting while preparing for the gate see uh there are the question i think uh, is not uh, complete because the time duration per day and the uh, time duration to prepare for the whole gate exam that two different things say the preparing slowly and regularly that is very important that is not like semester exam that you prepared for the one or two weeks and you have topped in the exam mm -hmm. that is not like that you have to prepare consistently whole syllabus right with concept gate is exam where they ask concept mm -hmm. right so you have to prepare the concept and you have to work regularly you have to i think uh, average age student say studying say 5 to 6 hours a day mm -hmm. is more than sufficient if you are preparing almost say 5 to 6 months you can get very good rank okay, when i say preparing for the 5 to 6 hours means that is not sitting on the chair mm -hmm. you are preparing specifically specifically yeah right so that means quality matters mm -hmm. and consistency is the key patience is the key patience is the key okay, yeah sir uh, for final year students who mm -hmm. wants to uh, give wants to take a gate exam in their final year and but there is problem of time management see what happens is, is the people are not aware that they can write exam they can clear exam with their seventh semester itself mm -hmm. right if you are going to appear in the seventh semester of your btech mm -hmm. in the gate exam then you should start preparing from the fifth semester itself yes, sir. another reason that is starting from the fifth semester is most of the technical subjects those are the part of the gate syllabus hmm. the part of fifth and sixth and seventh semester only yes sir right so if we start preparing from the fifth semester the similar subject those are the gate to the part of gate syllabus also and those are part of your semester syllabus also hmm. that will improve your semester result also and that will prepare for you that will prepare you for the gate exam also yes sir another important thing is once you start preparing for any of the exam i'm not talking about only gate or ies or any of the exam hmm. first of all you must go through the syllabus mm. and second important thing is you must go through the previous year question paper yes. right and then match the syllabus depth of the exam and start preparing for that so according to me you should start preparing those subjects from the fifth semester itself those are the part of gate syllabus yes sir and prepare for the semester exam as well and go through the concepts those are the part of gate syllabus and immediately solve those questions those appear in the gate exam right uh right few test that are that those are available in the market that will evaluate yes, that sir. how much prepared you are okay sir sir should students take coachings for gate exam uh it depends i should not say coaching is mandatory but uh, there are number of factors that we should consider right say you are having very good group and everyone is preparing for the gate exam and you can solve each other's problem you can discuss and you are having sufficient material to prepare for proper guidance to prepare for then the coaching is not necessary but what happens is that uh, this condition becomes difficult because of different kind of group and different people prepare for different different exams coaching a good coaching in fact uh, will help you uh, in number of things first thing is like you will get a proper guidance what to study and more important what not to study right uh, level of the exam different kind of questions to prepare for mm -hmm. right the proper uh, set of books study material another thing the feeling of competition mm -hmm. so you are attending one of the coaching what happens is you come to know how much you have prepared in comparison to other students other other aspirants right another important thing is say once you come into the coaching and you are having some doubt that is cleared by the faculty right and sometimes say you are not having any doubt on a particular subject 
but other students are having doubt and they are asking their questions those doubts are automatically get clear mm. this is one uh, another important another thing is you will come to know that how much time we should provide to a particular subject right what are the important areas that we, we must prepare what are the common mistake that we should not do mm. right and a complete set of books available nowadays say you are not able to attend a coaching say you are in final year, you are a final year student or living in remote area not able to attend a coaching nowadays online coaching is available mm. so you can attend those coachings from your home itself with the help of internet right and one thing i think mandatory you must attend online test series okay. right because gate exam is online right now mm. right and you are preparing with the online test series what happens is you get a proper atmosphere of the gate exam and the similar period of time how many questions you are able to attempt mm -hmm. and you are having you will get a practice of real time with that online calculator one of the important point i want to mention is that calculator that you are you are using regularly in your classrooms are different that is uh, that is a handheld calc mm -hmm. calculator but online calculator that in gate exam is bit different and mm. i must not say it uh, difficult but it's different mm. and if you are not having practice to use that calculator that will create a problem during the exam yes sir right that's why online test are very important another thing is say once you will start uh, attending online test you come to know your stronger areas mm. and you will also come to know in which area you have you should provide more amount of time mm. because with the online test the number of analysis available you can an analyze yourself with yourself that in which area you are weak and where you should start preparing more right students got more points like uh, by enrolling themselves in coaching they become more focused about and they get continuously guidance from the faculties how to prepare and where they are lacking behind all these things and online test series are the most important things which are provided by the uh, institutes coachings so so my next question is uh, whether a uh, student should purchase some specific books or notes are pro provided by the institute are more than sufficient see this is competition yes sir right and you definitely the institutes they provide their study material and they are very helpful mm. but you have to be in top mm. wherever you are you have to be in top so you should clear concept first of with the, first of all with the basic concepts mm. and then the higher level of the concepts so you must go through the study material given by provided by the coaching institute mm. but you should also follow the reference books to improve your score right okay, so i must say that different kind of are so necessary you should prepare your own notes mm -hmm. right so at because what happens at the end of the preparation say last 15 mm -hmm. days or the last half month or the say last 7 days you have to revise number of times mm -hmm. and that point of time if you start referring the reference books mm -hmm. that will waste of time yes, so you should have your short notes prepared by your own mm -hmm. right and you start revising from them specifically formulas concept those are very important from the exam point of view where the questions will uh, get they ask regular questions mm -hmm. so you start revising that and for that you should have your own notes also that means self notes and revision are the most important things yeah so my next question is um, we have talked about the online test series so how much online test series uh, one should enroll with uh, is there any particular number or minimum number of test series see uh, you must write uh, at least one test per topic mm -hmm. say you are having a particular topic say food mechanics so you should write at least one test of the food mechanics mm -hmm. so you'll come to know in which area you are lagging yeah. either that is statistics or that is dynamics or something else or say if you are attempting a full length test i think 10 test are more than sufficient. enough sufficient more than enough to prepare for right but how you are attempting the test you should attempt the test and then you should give proper time yourself to analyze how you have answered where you have made mistakes and you should be get prepared for the next test not to repeat those mistakes again mm. what happens is there is silly mistakes 
there are calculation mistakes you're not reading the questions carefully mm -hmm. right you are not reading that that answer has been asked in percentage or decimal or what right so you should be very careful not to repeat mistakes writing test means minimizing your mistakes, mistakes. and improving on the areas in which you are weak right that means uh, only taking mock tests is not sufficient uh, you have to analyze it and then again uh, take another test so my next question is uh, after getting good rank most of the students being afraid of not getting into mtx is mtx is that bad no no not really <laughs> right uh, nowadays it happens that the people they are they aspire to join psus only so yeah, like the people they are not willing to join uh, iit they think that why to invest two more years mm -hmm. in the post graduate degrees uh, instead of that earning early will be better for them but that depends on choice again mm -hmm. right uh, what are you looking for say you want to go for the research you want to go for phd's then you must go for mtech mm -hmm. only right and say sometimes it happens that you are going for the mtech you will get a very good job in that particular specific areas right it depends upon the economic situation of the country also right but what happens is say if you are that uh, you are preparing for institute like isc bangalore right then you should be in top 50 so my suggestion is always aim high mm -hmm. and whatsoever rank you get then decide in which area you must go that either psu or for mt mt is from a good institute is a very good option so can you please repeat that uh, rank wise status he uh, if you have got this uh, this range of rank you can apply for this if can it varies again what happens is there are different branches some of the branches like chemical or engineering sciences the number of aspirants are very very less but in case of electrical electronics mechanical computer science mm -hmm. number of aspirants are more so the rank also varies very much okay. so that cannot be given mm -hmm. for for every branch that is different different right okay, so that cannot be given in one set so so um, we have only that much questions you uh, आपको कुछ कंक्लूड करना है स्टूडेंट्स हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग सी माय सजेशन इज से इफ यू वांट टू प्रिपेयर फॉर एनी ऑफ द एग्जाम नॉट ओनली गेट राइट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू मस्ट बी क्लियर इन योर माइंड दैट यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर दैट एग्जाम राइट डिसाइड विद फुल एनालिसिस गिव दैट टाइम टू डिसाइड अबाउट इन विच एग्जाम फॉर एग्जाम फॉर विच विच एग्जाम यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर एंड देन वंस यू हैव डिसाइडेड गो थ्रू द सिलेबस गो थ्रू द प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन पेपर and you start preparing well and always aim high but keep patience that is the final line thank all you. the best to all the students who are preparing for the gate and uh, thank you so much thank, thank you kanchan <laughs> thank you sir